and I'm Nora and welcome to season 5 episode 5 of <laughs> Dough with the Flow. Today we're making apricot swiss cakes. I think this is the shortest recipe list ever. Ever. Yeah it's four ingredients and then I guess some jam on top and that's where the apricot part comes from. This shouldn't take long. <laughs> yep, really shouldn't. Four things, so uh, here we go, I guess. Do they all just they just get well soften the butter in a large bowl? Okay. Add the icing sugar and beat well until really soft and fluffy. So it's and just then sugar the flowers and mix it till smooth. Okay. So we start out with just sugar. So and there is an order butter. here. So maybe we should just stick the butter in first and then we yeah. can measure out it's the. It's not very soft. Um, how much of this uh, powdered sugar do I need? 75 grams. 75 grams. Yeah, Not so a lot of sugar. No, and it's odd that it's powdered sugar. What's up with these Swiss people? And yet, two sticks of butter. With their butter flavored, very small amount of sugar cakes. I was wishing I was up in Washington where it's actually raining and like fall, you know? <laughs> It's sort of fall. We've sort had of. a few days. The leaves are beautiful right now. That is true. But I was like, I'm going to put on flannel and feel Pacific Northwest. And then Taylor one up me and <laughs> put on like business casual Pacific <laughs> Northwest. Now I feel like a schlump. Now we mix. Yeah. Hopefully we can get it to be soft and fluffy. Really soft. Yeah. And fluffy. That's the thing. It's emphasis. That's going to be really soft and so lovely. <laughs> so now we need the flowers. So it's self-rising flour and then corn flour, aka cornstarch. Yeah, very odd. Uh, especially, I don't know, 50 grams isn't a ton, but it still seems like a lot for a corn yeah, starch. Yeah, it does. It's 200 grams of flour. I guess cornstarch gener generally thickens things, right? Yeah, so. so it must... I don't know. But that's... Oh, oh ooh, wow! <laughs> that's in a liquid. There she goes. <laughs> this looks a lot like a dough. Oh my gosh. Versus a batter. It's so, so thick. thick. Um, so that'll be interesting. There's also not much, so it really can't be I, just a little swirl in the bottom of each one. I guess so. Again, it was supposed to be fairy cake papers, yeah. um, so smaller. Piping is a thing. I bought tips this time, but apparently I bought the wrong tips. So we're going to try to make it work by sticking it inside. They're supposed to screw on, but we have no screw thing with this. Okay, what does it say? Pipe circles of the mixture into the base of each paper case. So we th I don't we just fill the box. I think so. I think we just do like a one big swirl. Can you even get it to come out? Yes. Oh, I think our nozzle's thinner than it should be. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Help me. Oh, no. Maybe I'll hold this for you. Okay. <laughs> You're strong. I think our nozzle's not as large as it should be, perhaps. Is this is just what a star nozzle is. A, I think it says a large star. I don't know. I think I made mistakes at the store. This is what happens when you don't understand the lingo and you're just like, well, we need nozzles. Oh my gosh, Taylor. <laughs> you want me to do one? Really intense. So it seems like if you like let it be in one plate because it's getting thicker like I was getting thicker rounds that time so okay. like don't move as quickly kind of thing okay does that make sense I think so they kind of hesitate more before hover 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 wavy oh. wavy oh <laughs> that's an interesting technique <laughs> this one looks like a pit of snakes <laughs> that's done okay <sighs> Uh, yeah, so we're gonna see what happens with these now. They're like half full. It's, it's a lot better. filled up more than I thought it would. Yeah, so it's just gonna be how the shape goes. We've been 
checking and we've added five extra minutes from the 15 so we're at the maximum time now so hopefully it's gotten to a pale golden brown which is what we're looking for so let's take a look at these guys <laughs> that little nub is pale golden brown <laughs> hmm. um yeah maybe i think those are pale golden brown yeah 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 okay. yeah yeah time to add the apricot of the apricot cakes yeah yeah, they came out better than it looked like they were going to, yeah. though they're still, um, you know, not round, but <laughs> that's okay. Not perfect, but they give us the texture, yeah. at least, so yeah. that's nice. So yeah, we just put some little dollops of jam in the middle on here. It looks so perfect. I, I'm going to try. Okay. And then we'll dust it all with powdered sugar, and that'll be it. You were smarter in taking a much smaller bite than I did because <laughs> it's very powdery, like you're just kind of chewing and like definitely need something to drink with this. So yeah, it's good that we have these scorching hot beverages. They kind of taste like like a butter cookie, maybe three butter cookies kind of squished together into a very a very dense large butter cookie, essentially. Yeah. The texture is like the similar, it's the same too. It's just like very crumbly and... Basically just like powder uh, yeah. once you start to eat it. Yeah. Jam, yeah. I got some and that definitely helped a lot in the bite and added something. Cause otherwise it's very samey. I had expected this to be like lighter, flakier, more pastry-like almost, I guess, when mm -hmm. I had heard what was in it. And so the crumbliness kind of caught me off guard but I didn't really know what to expect at all. I feel like I expected it to be hollower on the inside. Yeah. It was kind of like a cream puff. Mm. And so I didn't even was expecting that, but it, exactly. because it's not, then it's like, very, it's oh. just so dense yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah. I think the, the texture of the jam is really good because it kind of breaks up the dense butter cookie-ness of the whole thing. I'm not really sure about the flavor though. Well, I just had another little nibble and it it's definitely a much brighter flavor across a kind of like not bland but just like continuous sort of background flavor of the butter. So I would say more jam if I was to have these again.